Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you one by one all the structures visualized in the right ventricular inflow view and all the structures visualized in the right ventricular outflow view. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start. The right ventricular outflow view and the right ventricular inflow view both are obtained from the parasternal long axis view. I already have a video on my channel showing you how to obtain these views step by step, so I'm going to leave the link in the comment section. Let's start with the right ventricular inflow view. This view looks very similar to the apical to chamber view. However, instead of focusing on the left heart chambers, in this view we are going to concentrate on the right heart. Let's begin and I will show you one by one all the structures visualized in this view. The first wall visualized at the top of the screen is the anterolateral wall, also known as the right ventricular free wall. Next to the wall, we have this big echo free space at the top of the view. This black space that looks a bit triangular in shape is the right ventricle. The next wall we can visualize here corresponds to the inferior right ventricular wall. In the middle of the view, between those two chambers, we can find the tricuspid valve. In this view, we can visualize two different tricuspid valve leaflets. On the right hand side, you can visualize the anterior leaflet of the tricuspid valve. And on the left hand side, you can see the posterior leaflet of the tricuspid valve. The next big echo free space under the tricuspid valve corresponds to the right atrium. At the bottom of the screen, you can see two lines entering the right atrium on each side. That small black line on the left corresponds to the inferior vena cava and the one on the right hand side corresponds to the superior vena cava. That very bright posterior line is the posterior wall of the right atrium. The papillary muscle visualized in this view and attached to the tricuspid valve is the inferoposterior papillary muscle. In this view, sometimes you can see a thin blurry line at the top of the screen on top of the inferior vena cava. This line is the Eustachian valve. This tiny black circle next to the tricuspid valve annulus is the coronary sinus. And here you can find the coronary arteries in charge of supplying blood flow to the right ventricular walls. Now let's continue with the right ventricular outflow view. 
I'm going to show you one by one all the structures visualized here. First, at the top of the screen and before the valve, we have the right ventricular outflow tract. Now we can find here the pulmonary valve just after the right ventricular outflow tract. Under the pulmonary valve, we have the main pulmonary artery. Then the main pulmonary artery divides in two and we can find the pulmonary artery branches. On the left hand side, you can see the right pulmonary artery and on the right hand side, you can see the left pulmonary artery. And to finalize, in this view, you can visualize a small segment of the right ventricular wall. Here you can find the coronary arteries in charge of supplying blood to this segment. Now I'm going to mention once again all the structures visualized in these two views, but this time I'm going to show you on a video. I will start with the right ventricular inflow view and then continue to the right ventricular outflow view. Let's start again. At the top, you can see the anterolateral wall or the right ventricular free wall. This big echo-free space, triangular in shape, corresponds to the right ventricle. And posterior to the right ventricle, the second wall visualized here is the inferior wall. Now, flapping in the middle between two chambers, we can clearly visualize the tricuspid valve. And we can differentiate the tricuspid valve leaflets. On the right hand side is the anterior leaflet and on the left hand side, the posterior leaflet. The right atrium is at the bottom of the screen after the tricuspid valve. And entering the right atrium, we can see the superior vena cava on the right hand side and the inferior vena cava on the left hand side. This bright thin line is the posterior wall of the right atrium. And if we go back to the top, attached to the tricuspid valve, you can visualize the inferoposterior papillary muscle. Sometimes you will be able to see the Eustachian valve, which is this thin blurry line. And also the coronary sinus, which is a tiny small black circle. Now let's continue to the next view. Here at the top, you can see the right ventricular outflow tract. After the RVOT, you can visualize the pulmonary valve. Under the pulmonary valve, we have the main pulmonary artery. This one will divide in two branches. On the right hand side, you will be able to see the left pulmonary artery. On the left hand side, you can see the right pulmonary artery. To finalize at the top, we can see a small segment of the right ventricular wall. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. See you on another video. Bye.